Kevin Madden, CNN political commentator and Republican strategist, and Richard Socarides, former senior advisor to President Bill Clinton and writer for TheNewYorker.com. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, Kevin, let me start with you. It is easy to go after the particulars of this deal, and rightly so. However, the shock coming from lawmakers, specifically Republicans, that this came out of nowhere, is that a little bit of political theater? This has always been the deal on the table. Well, I think they're making, they're, they're making a justifiable case that um, they believe that the president may have broken the law. Uh, so I think that that's why they're going to be um, a certain level of oversight hearings now to, to, to really investigate that fully on whether or not the, the, the president went through the proper legal protocols uh, in order to engage in an agreement like this. Uh, and I think that they are also um, serious questions by lawmakers up on Capitol Hill on whether or not a deal like this would incentivize further kidnappings. You did hear criticism, um, very robust criticism, come from somebody like Lindsey Graham, um, who is a, an important voice uh, on national security concerns like this. And Richard, what about that legal question? Why not? I mean, the president tr tried to answer that question in this press conference, saying that the whole process was truncated because we didn't want to miss that window. Is that a good enough excuse to not notify Congress? Well, I don't think you need an excuse, nor do I think we should be talking about excuses. I think the president this morning made a very strong case for why he did this. And but show, even and one of his key of allies, Richard, Dianne it. Feinstein, said the president should have notified the key committees that this was in the works. Well, there may be legitimate questions that uh, members of Congress have around why the 30-day time period rule was not addressed specifically. And I'm sure the president and his team will have the appropriate answers for that. But I think the president made an incredibly strong case this morning for why we never leave anyone on the battlefield. This is consistent with uh, longstanding American policy. It's not a new policy. It's consistent with international law. It's consistent with everything we've always done in the whole history of U.S. warfare. So I think people who are complaining today, um, it's part of the Republican partisan uh, atmosphere that's been created in Washington. Part where of every is. move, where every move the president makes is criticized. They, they, they want to criticize everything. I mean, these are the same people who, have, who before were criticizing that he wasn't doing enough to get this guy out. Part of it is, but part of it isn't. What Kate's getting at is, similarly, as the, it is a point of pushback with Kevin, that you knew about this deal all along. Don't act shocked. You know that Reagan gave arms up for POWs, so don't act shocked. It's how you did it here, Richard. You did it by going around Congress, and it breeds a lack of confidence in how you do business uh, as an administration. And you have not stated a good reason that the law was circumvented. Well, I don't know what the administration's position is exactly on this issue because they haven't said what it is. But is that I think because what, they don't have I, a good answer? The president, Does it muddy the, the water, though, in the case that he's making? Well, listen, I think what the president suggested this morning is, is that Congress was well informed that this kind of deal was in the works. So they obviously think that they met whatever requirements the law imposed. Well, well, look, well look, just just on that point, it's not up to the president to, this, to decide whether or not he thinks the, 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 that the Congress was well informed or not. I think there's still legitimate criticism and legitimate frustration up on Capitol Hill that they didn't know enough about this. So I think the president, uh, you know, Richard, you make the argument that he made a very strong case. I think he was very dismissive. And I think two audiences are not going to be as dismissive about the conditions of this case. First is the Congress, and he has to have a good relationship with them. And secondly, uh, is the American public. There still remain more questions than there are answers right now. That's a leg that has to be a legitimate concern for this president right now. I think the, I think the American people are satisfied <coughs> that the president made good on our country's sacred commitment to the families of POWs to bring everybody home. I think the American public will be satisfied this morning that that is what the president was doing and those are the actions he was taking. Kevin, how does it matter that the timing involved here that you're coming to the end of the war that the president actively wants to close guantanamo bay so you may wind up having people released without any strings at least here while you are releasing dangerous people at least you're doing it in a way that there are some conditions on them where you may not have it with the other ones let's listen to a bite on this from the president to give us some context and then you respond go ahead right the release of the uh, the taliban who were being held in Guantanamo uh, was conditioned on the Qataris keeping eyes on them and creating a structure in which we can monitor their activities. We will be keeping eyes on them. Uh, is there the possibility of uh, some of them trying to return to uh, 
uh, activities that are detrimental to us? Absolutely. Your take. Well, I think General Spider Marks made a point earlier during your conversation, Chris, where he talked about the level of, uh, of, uh, of whether or not there is an official, end of, uh, an, an official declaration of an end uh, to a lot of our engagement there. So I think that remains a question. And again, I think this is something where the president is really going to have to build a strong case up on con uh, with Congress uh, as it relates to justifying some of his actions. Richard, do you think this, is a, this, this poses a, a potential problem for the president? They're not talking about those explicit assurances that the Qataris have been able to provide that they're going to be able to keep eyes on these five Taliban members. I, I don't think this is going to be an issue. I think that the Republicans are trying to create a sideshow around this like they try to create around everything. I think the president acted <laughs> consistent with uh, longstanding American policy and in keeping with our commitment to bring every member of our armed forces home as war winds down. And we made a POW exchange. Those are tough decisions. It's always one of the toughest decisions a president can make. Um, there are obviously, uh, you know, involved a balancing of the issues. Uh, we have to do everything to make sure that these people that were released uh, out of Guantanamo Bay uh, are, do not, you know, what continue to What is the everything? Cause... That's the question. Well, what, we don't know. I mean, this, these are the kinds of things. These deals are often made in secret. Uh, obviously, we made a deal with the Qataris. Uh, we, we trust the people who are in charge of our military. So, and what do you do when? What do you do when you get a request like we just got from one of the released spies, uh, Cuban spies, who says, "Hey, you know, maybe Cuba will do a deal like this." What about the CIA operative being held in Iran, Robert Levinson? Well, um, do you make a deal for them? I mean, we're not at war with Cuba, uh, and uh, you know, and I think that each situation has to be taken on its own. But this was clearly a POW swap. I don't think this is this sets new ground. This is not a new kind of policy the president is pursuing. This is totally consistent with what we've done historically. That those situations would suggest something different. And, Kevin, I, and I don't think that's yeah, you know, what I we're just, doing. I just want to Go disagree ahead. with Richard's trying to frame this as a Republican-Democrat thing. I've never used the term uh, Democrats up on Capitol Hill. I said Congress. I think members of Congress, Republicans and Democrats, are going to give, and I believe that there's a justifiable level of oversight over, uh, sure. over this particular deal. And remember, there were Democrats that voted for the law that said that the president had to consult with members of Congress 30 days before any prison well, transfer or any transfer. Law, even though he also offered a signing statement, but he also signed right. the law, so he knows what's in it. Right. Is. So this, is, this should not be turned into a partisan thing the way that Richard has tried to frame it. All right, Kevin Madden, Richard Sakharides, thank you very much. One thing is sure, there's no